The old appeals to racial, sexual, and religious chauvinism, to rabid nationalist fervor, are beginning not to work. This is who I am, and whether I'm good or bad, or achieving or not, all that's learned along the way. Just ride. We can change it anytime we want. It's only a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. You realize that I had the game wrong. That the game was to find out what I already was. Evolution is a term to define only one organism, and that's the self. The self is the universe, the self is the alpha and omega, God and infinity. And that's the only thing that evolves, because we are all part of the self. Nothing goes through an evolutionary process alone, or without direct benefit to the whole. So when you begin to think that there's this controlling elite, this controlling hand behind the curtains leading the planet to destruction, when you think the end is near, the apocalypse, Armageddon, and when you think we as a species are doomed, it is not they, it is you that brought this about. And for a very good reason. You are evolving. Stop blaming everybody and everything else. Quit panicking about global tyranny and natural disaster and pay attention. Because the world is telling you something, is telling you exactly what is wrong with you and how to fix it. Apart from the understanding that all natural systems are emergent, where all notions of reality will be constantly developed, altered, and even eradicated, we must also understand that all systems are, in fact, invented fragments, merely for the sake of conversation. For there is no such thing as independence in nature. The whole of nature is a unified system of interdependent variables, each a cause and a reaction existing only as a concentrated whole. You don't see the plug connected to the environment, so it looks like we're free, wandering around. Take the oxygen away, we all die immediately. Take plant life away, we die. And without the sun, all the plants die. So we are connected. We really must take into account the totality. This isn't just a human experience on this planet. This is a total experience. And we know we can't survive without plants and animals. We know we can't survive without the four elements, you know. And so when are we going to really start taking that into account? That's what it is to be successful. Success depends on how well we relate to everything around us. I'm very aware of the fact that my grandson cannot possibly hope to inherit a sustainable, peaceful, stable, socially just world unless every child today growing up in Ethiopia, in Indonesia, in Bolivia, in Palestine, in Israel also has that same expectation. You've got to take care of the whole community or you're going to have serious problems. And now we have to see that the whole world is the community and we must all take care of each other that way. And it's not just a community of human beings. It's a community of plants and animals and elements. And we really need to understand that. That's what's going to bring us joy, too, and pleasure. That's what's missing in our lives right now. We can call it spirituality, but the fact of the matter is joy comes from that bliss of connectedness. That's our God spirit. That's that side of ourselves that really feels it. And you can feel it deep inside you. It's this amazing, wonderful feeling. And you know it when you get it. You don't get it from money. You get it from connection. Now, if that isn't a hazard to this country, how are we going to keep building nuclear weapons? You know what I mean? What's going to happen to the arms industry when we realize we're all one? <laughs> It's gonna fuck up the economy. The economy that's fake anyway. 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 <laughs> Which would be a real bummer. You can see why the government's cracking down on the idea of experiencing unconditional love.
the whole system that we live in drills into us that we're powerless, that we're weak, that our society is evil, that it's private, etc. and so forth. It's all a big fat lie. We are powerful, beautiful, extraordinary. There is no reason why we cannot understand who we truly are, where we are going. There is no reason why the average individual cannot be fully empowered. We are incredibly powerful beings. Now in our culture, we've been trained for individual differences to stand out. So you look at each person, the immediate kid is brighter, dumber, older, younger, richer, poorer, and we make all these dimensional dis distinctions, put them in categories and treat them that way. And we get so that we only see others as separate from ourselves in the ways in which they're separate. And one of the dramatic characteristics of experience is being with another person and suddenly seeing the ways in which they are like you, not different from you. And experiencing the fact that, that which is essence in you and which is essence in me is indeed one. The understanding that there is no other. It is all one. And I wasn't born Richard Albert, I was just born as a human being. And then I learned this whole business of who I am and whether I'm good or bad or achieving or not, all that's learned along the way. The old appeals to racial, sexual, religious chauvinism, to rabid nationalist fervor are beginning not to work. A new consciousness is developing which sees the earth as a single organism and recognizes that an organism at war with itself is doomed. with this. Life's like a ride in an amusement park. And when you go on it, you think it's real. Is that how powerful our minds are? And the ride goes up and down and round and round. It has thrills and chills and it's very brightly colored and it's very loud. And it's fun for a while. Some people have been on the ride for a long time and they begin to question, is this real or is this just a ride? And other people have remembered and they come back to us and they say, hey, don't worry, don't be afraid ever because this is just a ride and we kill those people. <laughs> Shut him up. We have a lot invested in this ride. Shut him up. Look at my furrows of worry. Look at my big bank account and my family. This has to be real run. But we always kill those good guys who try and tell us that. You ever notice that? And let the demons run amok? But it doesn't matter because it's just a ride. And we can change it anytime we want. It's only a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. A choice right now between fear and love. The eyes of fear, once you put bigger locks on your door, buy guns, Close yourself off the eyes of love. Instead, see all of us as one. Here's what we can do to change the world right now to a better ride. Take all that money we spend on weapons and defense each year and instead spend it feeding, clothing, and educating the poor of the world, which it would many times over. Not one human being excluded. And we can explore space together, both inner and outer, forever in peace. Thank you very much. You've been great. I hope you enjoyed it. London, you're fantastic. Thank you.